been working something like crazy and I think I'm bringing it up. Dad, I got something on here. And it's heavy. Oh my good. Yeah! What up y'all and welcome back to another one. I am on one of my favorite docks, Dad and I's favorite docks. Y'all have been here with us many, many times. We haven't been here in a year at, at minimum. Uh, boy, howdy, she's seen better days. Check her out. This is where we found uh, weightlifting equipment, a shopping cart, a barbecue grill. Yeah, she needs some help. The whole thing is really t taking a turn for the worse. So before she goes down, Dad and I are going to get a uh, good old send out here. But welcome back to another magnet fishing video, guys. You guys have been loving them. Dad and I have been absolutely loving getting out here. The spring weather's been great. It's just now getting done. A little bit of sprinkle left. It's been raining all morning. That's what I'm trying to say. But before we get going into today's episode here, I want to give a big shout out to the Guggen squad. All the Guggen gear, Guggen baits. This is that Guggen swag. I got the corduroy flat bill. Uh-huh. One of the most comfiest shirts I have ever owned. I will link all of the Guggen swag, all of the Guggen merch, baits, everything down in the description below. But how think, are you feeling? I think it's high time Guggen sends me a shirt. Oh, you want some Guggen gear too? I'm sure we can make it happen. Uh, Last year it wasn't near like that. Yeah, it's taken a it's, turn for the worst. Yeah, I don't know if it's because it's just old or people are tearing into it. I don't know. She's definitely going downhill. I'm gonna get my gloves. I'm gonna get the main character, uh-huh, old Freddy. Today is Fred and I's last day together. If y'all were here last year and were part of the dog training videos, old Freddy, he goes back to the dog trainer today. Yes, yes sir. I'm excited. He needs to be freshened up. He needs some things. I'm gonna put down this big old camera and get to jigging the old magnet. Well, here we go. This is the dock. Boy, she is not the sturdiest thing in the world. I really forgot how deep this was. Is it deep? Uh-oh. It's, <laughs> it's deep. Well, I'm sure the pond's up with all this rain. Look at this thing. I'm taking baby steps. This thing don't look the healthiest it's ever. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Here we go. You already on something over there? Something. Maybe? Huh. Oh, it is deep. Holy smokes. Okay. Yeah, that's every bit of probably 15 foot, 12 foot. Oof. This darn dock is a little sketch, not gonna lie. Ooh. Yeah, I got something over here too. Be cool if there was. Nope. It is a beautiful, beautiful spring day. Like I said, just got done raining. No wind. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, Fred, grabbing him a drink. Doesn't get much better than this magnet fishing. Now we just gotta find some stuff. Problem is, with this amount of depth of water, boy howdy, if you got a big magnet, they start feeling real heavy real quick. Well, I felt something over there. I put it in, started dragging it from over here, underwater pulling it, and boy, I've been breaking all sorts of fishing line a ton, and I'm caught up in a mess there should be something on here i would think um, the amount of fishing line i have been breaking probably not look there's some fishing line we got a hook first hook of the day we're in the money dad we are just in the money today let me tell you bucket material is it oh did it let go you look like you got it up pretty far is it heavy? It grab. I mean, it just literally grabs the magnet and pulls it back down. Where did it go? Well, let me know if you get back on it. Well, I've been pulling it from under the dock, and I've been breaking a ton more fishing line. Anything on there, Frederick? 
Hmm? Oh! <laughs> Woo, look at him. He don't know. Look at his face. What do you think it is? Lure. Oh. That's a nice one. That is a nice one. Good old crankbait or a, that's, wait, that's a rattler? Rattle trap. Rattle trap. Look at that. Nice. That's definitely reusable. Not very old. Oh, and another nice, nice hook. Texas rig hook. Mm-hmm. Well, there we go. That's the best bait that I've caught in quite some time. Not going to lie. Dad's been catching all the baits lately. That bad boy's nice. What do you think about it, Fred? Oh, sorry. <laughs> right in the head. My bad. Bucket material. Well, since I just made that happen, I went on the far corner, threw in my magnet, uh, put my rope up underneath. As you can see, it goes that way. We're just gonna pull her back nice and gentle. Oh, I've already snagging something there. It's gonna be real gentle with it. Gonna give her a tug, let her come nice and easy because this is how I got that last bait. Gotta be some good stuff up underneath this dock. What I got here, I feel Hello? like I've been dragging it for about 10, 12 foot. Got something? I'm gonna pull mine up too. Cause I've been breaking a ton of fishing line. Oh God, look dad. <laughs> you know what? What? Last year, last two years ago. Oh, the shopping, shopping cart. cart. That definitely is in fact a shopping cart wheel. And we pulled up the shopping cart last year. I if think you was. guys haven't seen that, look how old that is. That's been in there for for ages. Yeah. Man, there's something right there though. Like I've been tugging at something. Look at that. <laughs> I have to believe that there's also a barbecue grill down there. Yeah, I know. All those grates and stuff. Look at that. Okay, well, that's cool. You guys got to smash a thumbs up button. Come on now. Come on now, that's some good bucket material. Best find all day. Oh look, we even had a little jig head on there, old and completely deteriorated. It's gone. Huh. Well, I'm getting into some stuff out here. Uh, the technique now, boys and gals, is this right here. I will show you. This is where I've been getting into some stuff. Step on my rope, chuck her out to the side. As far as I can go, let her sink because it's really deep out there and it'll take all of my rope as you can see. Boom. Do not lose your rope, guys. And then I stand on a corner and I pull it from side to side. So I'm pulling it from over there this way, not just, you know, throwing it out and bringing it back, which I will do. I'm just trying to cover my area, that's all. Oh, yeah. Oh man, there's still something big down there. There is still something big down there. I can latch onto it pretty darn good. And then it gives way. Trying to work it out of the out of the soot. Sometimes that's a good technique, y'all, if y'all are magnet fishermen and magnet fisher women as well. If you get onto something a few times and it breaks off finally get on it light and just start working it because you can work it out of the soil that way oh man we've been we've been at it for quite some time now not going to lie about it nothing what'd you get dad got something over here very first jig of the day, very first jig look, of the day? look how rusted Ooh. that hook is oh yeah that's an old man that's really old it's my first find today. What, what have you found? Like four or five already? No, just the wheel. The wheel was the best, and then the the one bait. We've been here for a while, though. We're gonna have to wrap it up sooner than later and move on to the next spot. Well, we're calling our quits on this dock. Uh, we kind of revised the plan. There is an old ice fishing house slash dock. We've only done one time. It's worth a shot, don't you think? Oh yeah, we've only been there one time and that was two years ago. Yeah, never know what you can find at this place. Ooh, look at these matching trucks. Mine goes in to get some goodies put on her. Today, I'm excited about that. All right, next spot, like I was saying, is an old, what seems to be what we believe is an ice fishing house. We've only been here one other time and it's been about two years. 
Hopefully no one's in here. Oh, look, someone done vandalized the place. Don't do this stuff, guys. Come on now. But right here, ice fishing house. Do you think we're gonna find anything? Drop a comment right now. Here we go, I'm just gonna get straight to the business, Dad. Let's work this bad boy over. Pretty deep, pretty darn deep. Who knows what people have thrown in here, you know it? Thrown, dropped, anybody could have thrown anything in here. I'm sure kids come out here at night, and who knows? This is wild. You would think there'd be some good stuff in here. Man, it feels like my magnet's heavier. Better check her out. Better give her a look over. I don't think so. Nope. I uh, got a piece of metal in a U shape of some sort there. Not sure what that is. Ah, man, it just feels... I don't know if it's just so deep. Oh, oh, that was a fishing pole. Gosh. Ah, no, no. Well, there's a fishing pole down there to get. What is this? That is a key ring on a piece of wire. Why is there a key ring? Can you see that? Check that out. A key ring on a piece of wire. Let's see if I can put it in my glove. Hmm, that's weird. Don't know what that's about, but there is a fishing pole that I just pulled up. Oh, you got something on there, Dad. You got something. What you got? This is not for human consumption on the side of the lid. Eh, probably a bait lid, huh? Bait lid. Yep. Well, I know that I got me a children's pink fishing pole right here that just fell off my magnet. Let's see if we can get it. It drops off really hard. That's the problem, I think. That pole could have just rolled on down because it is steep down there. This is kind of crazy in here though, isn't it? It is. It's nice. Cannot get the pole. But I got something else on there. What's that? Piece of metal of some sort. Not gonna do not know. Got anything over there yet? Nothing? Come on, Dad, you gotta pull through. Don't! Ooh! <laughs> Basic girl type of type of deal. Starbucks. Starbucks. Starbucks, uh-huh. You got something on there. What's that? No, oh, nothing. A bread tie. Dad's getting creative. Check him out. What are you doing out here, man? I'm going inside the He's board going in. Board. Yeah, the broken board here. You know how many people's probably fell in that? Man, that could break a leg, couldn't I'll it? I'll bet this is every bit 20 foot deep. Right? Oh, it's deep. I'm back over here trying to find the pole again, the Barbie pole. Something on there. Ooh, look at that. We got a big nail and a huge, huge, good to use leader. Look at that leader. That's a good one. You finding us anything yet, Dad? Just about a dozen hooks and a couple of nice <laughs> Leaders. Bucket material. Ooh! <laughs> Look at that. Got something good. Oh, first one of the season. Oh, and they still work. And look at that bait. That's a little fly like popper bait. Look at that. Look at that bait. That bait oh. and look. Oh. <laughs> a bell. Oh, bell. Yep, and they work. Look. See, that's the thing about even this small spot. You j even though you don't find nothing after 30 you minutes. You gotta keep searching. You gotta keep going and yes. keep going. Yes, that was right by where the pole was. <laughs> well, we're gonna give her last one last, I don't know, 10 minutes here. Kind of like my hunting. I always give it the 10 minute warning. Just make sure you can't find anything else. I hate to interrupt you while you're in here. What? I think I got something. Thank you, guys. He always says, think I got something, Bob. And he knows he's got something. What'd you find? I know there's a Christmas tree out there full of line. Uh -huh. It just got tangled in it. Oh, yeah? What's in there? Nothing? No, 
Oh, don't look like it. Oh, oh my uh, lord. Uh, you uh, think you got uh, something. You felt it was heavy. Uh, I think I got something. Obviously. Oh, that's on there. It's on there. <clears throat> look at that. First pair of the year, isn't it? First pair of the year. This used to be the go-to item that you wanted to find. And now look. Uh, that's like your 10th pair you've ever found, probably. Probably. I bet you. When we first started this, that's all I wanted to find. Yeah, now look. We found probably eight or nine pairs. I'm not even surprised to find them anymore. Look at them. Let me look in there. She's been in there for quite some time. Well, that's one of the best finds of the day. If I could have got that fishing pole up. That fishing pole still down there. Uh, all you guys know that me and dad, it's always a friendly competition, you know. See who can find the most stuff. I'm going to go ahead and pull up because before he rudely interrupted me, I was getting ready to. See if we got anything. Oh! Another one. <laughs> Look, a worm bait. And, ooh, oh, and, oh, 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 these we collect. These we collect. Oh, Listen yes, to them. Sir. A little spoon. What's spoon bait. What's that say on there? What's it say? I can't read that. Let me read it here. Crocodile with a K. Jensen crocodile with a K. Huh. Old spoon yeah, bait. That's yeah. cool. I like these. Look at that. Heck yeah, bucket. Material in fact. I am more into finding knees than I than I am multi-tool. Multi-tool. Get out of here. The multi-tool is way better. What? Well, let's see what he's talking about. What do you got over here? Another Christmas tree was here. Breaking a lot of string. Oh, yeah, another evidence of another fishing rod down there. Well, another thing I found. Some string. I don't know if the camera can see it or not. There's line caught up right here, and there's a there's a jig oh, yeah. right at the bottom of it. Oh, I see it. Yep. There's a lure caught on this metal deal. <laughs> well, there you go. Now you need to find the rest of it, Dad. Oh man, I have been working something right here. Come on, rope. Get over here been working something like crazy and I think I'm bringing it up dad I got something on here and it's heavy oh my goodness I hold on grab that before it falls off oh what the world <laughs> all right now you got it what in the heck don't lose it oh it's caught underneath there you go <laughs> oh my goodness a Full-on bicycle. Wow. <laughs> what in the world? It doesn't look like it's been down there that long, though. That's old. Yeah, it's, it's old. It's got a metal seat on it. Well, it does, but there's no soot. There's just the wheels. Yeah, the wheels are... What wow. in the heck? I knew we were going to find something in here eventually. Look at that. How old is that thing? What in the world? See, it's it hasn't been in there very long. That's a guaranteed. Bike. What? That's that's a tiny bike. Yeah, that's itty bitty. Wow. Well, that right there is one of the coolest finds. Wow. <laughs> this place, rusty. you never know where you're gonna find. I knew. Do what? The chain's all rusted, but. Yeah, that is wow. crazy. Well, I can't vlog. I wish I could turn the camera. Oh, it's on my chest still, sorry. <laughs> what in the heck? Look, you know I done beat you now. There is nothing you can do with you and your multi-tool that's gonna beat that. I think something's wrong with my magnet. <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs> Woo, y'all gotta smash the thumbs up for that. Wow. I'll be dead gum. I'm glad I gave it an extra 10 minutes. Yeah, he's fishing for that fishing pole that he dropped. Yeah. Over here and... Boom. <laughs> Look, dad done ripped his gloves off. He knows after that find, we are done. Watch you pull up something crazy on your last one. Anything on there? Nothing. No. All Clean. Right. Clean as a whistle. Well, that was a day. Yeah. We're going to call her there. I had mentioned about going to the wooden footbridge we're gonna save it i think we should save it i think we're gonna save it yeah let's get out of here let's go up to the truck we will empty out our bucket and see what all's in now oh all done huh all done yeah buddy that was not a bad day it wasn't a bad day at all i uh 
I was doubtful when we went to our first dock. Yeah. You know, that first dock we went to, it was slow. That dock usually provides a lot of good finds, but we probably picked it apart over the last two years. But finds of the day, check it out. Obviously, can't. We've got to probably talk about the bike first. Yeah, unreal find. Did not expect to do that at all. Uh, the wheel goes to the shopping cart we found last, last year. Last year. Yeah. That's when the park ranger was there. Yeah. The, the yeah. worker. Yep. All the small finds. I got a good sinker, some junk, couple caps. Where'd my? I don't see. Oh. I don't know where my Starbucks cap went. The bell, which is really cool. This is the first type of clip-on bell that I've ever seen. Check it out, it clips on, see? Oh, there's my Starbucks cap, yep. Dad found the part of the rod and reel. Rod and reel. Uh, and then a plethora of baits. A good spoonie, a good little fly popper dealio, a good old rattle trap, some worm action. That's all she wrote. I tell you what. I don't, you know, I think this is the first time I really feel like I got a spanking. <laughs> this is the third year, and I think this is the first time I really got a spanking. The bike was really good, not going to lie. That was extremely unexpected. Like I said, at the first dock, what, two years ago, I found... A scooter. The scooter. There's so many people at this park. Uh, people every day in and out fishing, playing, riding bikes. It's insane. But if you guys liked our magnet fishing video, go ahead and check out all the other ones that we've done because we have some that darn near went viral and they're good. I promise you. Family friendly out here. But subscribe if you haven't. Dad and I, we thank you guys for being here. And if you feel sorry for me since I've really got spanking, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> But guys, I encourage you, buy a magnet. They're extremely cheap. You can usually pick up a whole kit for under like 50 bucks. Buy one, get out there, get adventurous, get outside. I think that's most important, get outdoors. But until next time. Oh, whoa, guys, don't go anywhere yet. Don't forget to use code Bobby at checkout at guggensquad.com to pick up all of this yummy merch. Until next time, y'all. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism